Hi, everybody. How are you? We have only two more videos left, and then it's the end of the school year. I am so excited. Are you excited? I hope so. How are you today? Good. Okay, good. I hope you're good. Let's do lime green. Okay, so what is today? Today is el jueves. Thursday. Today is Thursday. What month? May, June, or July? J June. Today is Thursday, June 11th. Okay, and the last day of school is the 15th. So we will have one more video on June 15th on Monday. And then summer vacation. Okay, so let's write our the date today. Wow, we really have to change some things here. How about pink and 36? Okay, today, oh my gosh. Today is Thursday, June, oh my. Today is Thursday, June 11, 2020. The date is 6, 11, 20, right? Okay, so let's read that again. Okay, today is Thursday, June 11th, 2020. The date is 6 11 20. What is the last day of school? June 15th. Wow, June 15th. I hope during the summer you continue reading. You should continue reading. If you have, it's A to Z, you can read on kids A to Z. Let me show you like this. If you do not have kids A to Z, you can send me a message and I can give you a code. Para que puedas leer online during the summer, okay? So you can send me a message if you want. And I will give you a password. Puedo crear, crear una cuenta para ti si no tienes una aún. Okay. So where are we? We are here. How are you feeling? ¿Cómo te sientes? How are you feeling? I'm feeling happy and a little sad because I, I'm not able to see you to say goodbye. Okay. I miss you. Te extraño, and I wish I could see you to say bye for the summer. How are you feeling? What I'm feeling? Oh, did you say you're excited for the summer? Are you excited for the summer? Me too. I'm also excited. Okay. Class expectations. We only have like two more days, so... Last chance, última oportunidad a mandarme evidencia. Okay, si hay algo que hiciste y no te lo tengo ya, send it to me, mandamelo. Okay, because if not, I'm not going to improve your grade. Okay, you can only get a better grade if you send me, mandame cosas. Okay, and we don't have any more Wednesday class. Nope, we are finished with Wednesday. Bang. No more Wednesday. We had it already. Thursday tonight, we have class at 6 o'clock. And tomorrow, last class online. Last class in vivo at 12 o'clock on Friday. We're going to talk about activities for the end of the year. Actividades para... Oh, no. Activities for the summer. <laughs> summer activities. Okay. So let's continue. Let's look at our topic. The topic is body parts, right? The topic is body parts. The objective is I can write, write directions to draw a monster. Yesterday, you read Andrew. Today, you will write, first you will draw 
then you will write, okay? How using body vocabulary with the help of sentence frames and a word box. Okay, what am I talking about? One more time, let's repeat. The objective is I can write, write directions, instrucciones, to draw, para dibujar, to draw a monster. How? Using body vocabulary. ¿Qué vas a hacer hoy? Are you going to listen or write? You're going to write. Are you going to draw also? Yes. What are you going to draw and write about? A monster. Very good. Your monster or my monster? Your monster. Your monster is correct. Let me show you the paper we're going to use today. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. Your monster. So, first, here you will draw your monster. And second, here you will write about your monster. Like the opposite from yesterday. Como el contrario de ayer. Ayer empezamos con las instrucciones y después dibujamos. But today, first, you will draw. And second, you will write but you say i don't know no sé las palabras yes you do si sí saben las palabras y también uh, many words are here look all of the numbers words are here in english the colors words are here in english and spanish the feelings words are here you can use all of these words here to help you, para ayudarte. Okay, so what are our activities today? Activity number one, we're going to practice these words quickly. Activity number two, I will show you how to do the homework. What are the two activities? Activity one, we will practice these words. Activity two, I will show you how to do this. So you can use a pencil and a paper or you can do your work on Google Classroom. Okay? Two ways. Dos maneras de hacer esto. With a pencil and paper or using Google Classroom. Okay, but first let's look at the vocabulary quickly. Close that. Okay. How can I say oído? Ear is correct. How can I say, what is this? Barbilla? Barba? Chin. How can I say mejilla? Cheek. How can I say cabeza? Head. Good. How can I say nariz? Nose. You got it. What about la cara? Face, very good, face. What about labio? Lip is good. La boca? M mouth, mouth, mouth. Okay, what about el cuello? Neck, good. Hmm, how can you say pelo? Hair. Awesome. Hair. How about ojo? Eye. Good. Eye. The same like yo. Mismo sonido. Yo y ojo. In English, los dos son eye. 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 Yo y ojo. Los dos son eye. And is that everything? What about oh, diente? Tooth. Tooth. And what about la garganta? Thro throat. Wonderful. Okay, let's repeat one more time. Everybody together. Repeat. Nose. Throat. Neck. Tooth. Lip. Mouth. Whoa. Sorry. Ah, it's going crazy. Try again. 
mouth. Okay. Head. Repeat hair. Repeat face. Eye. Repeat ear. Chin. And finally, cheek. Okay, wonderful. Activity one is finished. What about activity two? You need your pencil and your paper, or you can go on Google Classroom. So you will first write your name. Then it says, let's read. It says, draw your monster first. One more time. Draw your monster first. Dibuja tu monstro primero, first. Okay, so on your paper, you can draw a box, a rectangle, like this, for example. Can you see here? I have a rectangle. You can draw your monster. If you want to use colors, you can use colors. If you have colors, you can use colors, like colored pencils or markers or crayons. Okay, so I'm going to use orange. Let me see here. Hmm. I'm going to do a different kind of monster today. Hmm. I'm drawing. I'm drawing my monster. Are you drawing your monster, Estas Dibujando? You can draw on your paper or you can draw on Google Classroom. I'm drawing the eyes. Hmm. <laughs> and maybe I do this. Let me see here. Am I missing anything? Um, hmm. Okay, I have my monster. This is my monster. You're not copying me. No estás copiándome ahorita. Draw your monster. Tu monstruo. Tu solo. No me copies. No. Your, use your brain to draw your monster. But here is my como ejemplo. Here is mine. Oh, look at that. How cool. That is crazy, huh? Whoa. Okay, so when you finish your monster, cuando acabas your drawing, you're going to go down here. It says, write about your monster. Okay, so for example, one second here. If you're on Google Classroom, for example, you can go on to, bueno, vas a abrir en Google Classroom el documento. But for me, I'm going to use this. Voy a usar esto. So one second here. When you're in Google Classroom, when you click the documents, you're going to open with, annotate with Cami, And then, I guess you can continue drawing if you want while we wait because it takes forever. Okay, finally, it's almost ready here. So you will have your drawing here. Oops, this isn't even right. Esto es, no es la correct, cosa correcta. Let's go back here, try this again. This one, perdón, this one is the right one. Annotate with Cami. Okay, so now you should have drawn. The first step is draw your monster. 
So if you're using Google Classroom, ya tienes tu monstruo aquí. You can use these things. You can change this. And you can change the colors here. Los colores and more colors are here. Más están aquí. Okay. So you will draw your monster. Okay. And then, what does it say? It says, write about your monster. Write about your monster. Escribe sobre tu monstruo. Vamos a describe. Describe your monster. So on my paper, if I am using my paper and my pencil, I will write numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now it says, number one, it has a what color body? It has a tiene un cuerpo de qué color? So if I'm talking about, so miro tu dibujo, look at your picture, look at your drawing, and decide what color. So for me, the body is orange. I'm looking at the body, el cuerpo. The body is orange. So I'm going to write number one. It has an orange body. I will copy It has a, escribo aquí, orange, y aquí, body. You don't have to write that. No tienes que escribir las preguntas aquí, okay? Las preguntas solo te dicen que tienes que escribir. Okay. One more thing. If you need the word orange, I say, ah, orange. How can I write orange? Look down below. Colors, colors, color. What color here? Orange. Orange. You can copy this word orange. So here, look at mine. Here's my sentence. It has an orange body. For number one, it has an orange body. Do not copy mine. If your monster's body is purple, write purple. Okay, let's look at the rest of the questions. Okay, number two, it has how many heads? How many? One, two, three. How many does my monster have? My monster has one, two, three heads. So I will write here. I can change to text box here. I can write three, three heads. The words are here, three. Okay, number three, it has how many arms? Cuantos brazos? Number four, it has how many hands? Cuantas manos? It has how many legs? Cuantas piernas? Number six, it has how many feet or foot? If it's one, it will be foot. If it's two, three, four, five, it will be feet. Foot is para una, uno. Pie, feet is for plural. Más de un pie. Number seven, it has what color hair? ¿Qué color es su pelo? For me, what color is their hair? His hair, her hair, its hair is brown. So right here I will write brown. Number eight, it has how many eyes? ¿Cuántos ojos? Number nine, it has how many noses? Cuantas narices? And number 10, it is, how does it feel? My monster, oh, that's interesting. Look, this one is, whoops, where? Where am I? This one is angry, but I think they are happy. So maybe I will write, it is happy and angry for number 10, right down here. Angry and happy, I can copy. I am not going to write, no voy a escribir todas estas oraciones juntos contigo because you have your drawing, tienes tu dibujo. So you have to use, tienes que usar 
Mira, lo que dibujaste. Up here. Read each sentence. Lee cada oración. Write about your monster. So, vas a acabar. You're going to finish. You will have one drawing. You will have ten finished sentences. So, you're going to write here, 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 here. Okay? En cada espacio necesitas escribir una palabra. I expect one drawing and ten sentences. If you're using a paper, one drawing and ten sentences, pero tienes que acabar. Escribir todas las, las oraciones, okay? I really want to see your drawings, pero también quiero ver que ahora puedes describir cosas sobre partes de cuerpo, colors and numbers. Creo que has aprendido mucho, pero quiero, sab, quiero ver. I want to see lo que puedas hacer ahora. Okay? So, please do this work. Por favor, haz esta, esta tarea. Okay? So, what is your homework today? Your homework is... Y es la última tarea. Last homework. So, espero que lo hagas. The homework is draw your monster and write... The sentences, send me a picture or edit and turn in on Google Classroom using Cami. Remember, we have class at 6 o'clock or tonight or tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Okay, so Ben si puedan, I want to see you and hear from you because it's the last week. I hope you're having a great day. Una semana buena. Excuse me one second here. My alarm, I have a meeting. So I hope that you have a great, great, great week. And I will see you or talk to you soon. Bye.